My name is Shashini Zit Kodada of Just One Sing and my metric number is A2082267 and I'm going to present one poem which is the introduction. Green entrepreneurship is a subcategory of the entrepreneurship which tries to create and execute solutions. Target audiences of this research is SME workers, SMEs entrepreneurs and also SMEs authorities. 1.2 Problem Statement Green entrepreneurship and the challenge faced by SMEs is important as it brings awareness about green entrepreneurship including the challenges. 70.7 .7 reported to be fairly familiar to the green business practices whereas 66.4 somehow essential, 11.4 were unfamiliar, 7.9 thought that it was unimportant. 1.3 Research Questions What is the relationship between production cost, work burden, time management, society and economic growth, profit and gross domestic product with the green entrepreneurship practice. 1.4 Research Objectives The objective is to examine the relationship between production costs, work burden, time management, society and economic growth, profit and also gross domestic product with the green entrepreneurship practice. 1.5 Operational Definition Green entrepreneurship practice refers to a business that no one has adverse effect on the community, the economy and the environment. Production costs is direct and indirect expenses firms incur while producing something or rendering a service. Work burden is when we refer to an issue describing how much trouble, anxiety or effort it puts on someone through. Time management is planning and exerting delivery control over the amount of time spent on a certain task. Society and economic growth is the rise or the improvement in the market value of the goods and services produced by an economy. Whereas profits is an income that is given to the owner throughout a successful market producing growth. Growth domestic product is a monetary indicator of the total market value of all the funding communities and services that nation generates and sells over a certain time. Good day, I'm Punita Balakrishnan, matrix number A20A1911. Today, I would like to present on the literature review for the assignment of research methodology. Literature reviews analyze scholarly publications on a certain subject. There is two types of variables, which is dependent and independent variables were discussed in this assignment. The independent variables that are gained from this assignment is rising labor expenses, workload, poor time management, social, cultural, and economic progress, lower earnings, and lower gross domestic product, which is known as GDP. And the dependent variable for this assignment is mainly about green entre entrepreneurship practices. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Luke Mahakim Bin Jasni, matrix number A20B1432, chapter 3, research methodology. Research design. This study focused on the difficulties that small and medium-sized enterprises in Malaysia face when implementing green entrepreneurship practice. Quantitative and qualitative methods were used. Primary and secondary data used. Method and sources. Research tool. Developed and adapted questionnaire. Research procedure. Nominal, ordinary interval and ratio questionnaire scale are examined. Research participant. Target entrepreneurship in Malaysia. Research sources. The electronically administered questionnaire will collect primary data via WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and email. Sampling. Since the population is written as N and the research population is approximately the same, the target population is 1,151,339. We sample with 0.5% margin of error and 95% confidence interval. Tracy and Morgan, 1970. 384 SMEs. This study uses probability sampling for subject sampling. For data analysis, this study uses person correlation for all objectives. This study uses descriptive statistics for demographic question and reliability tests. That's all from me. Thank you. I am Tuneshwari Periyasami. My metric number is A2820043. Analysis plan. The data analysis method related to this study objective has been clarified and other data collection method has also been discussed. First method is description statistics such as the respondent gender, age, material status, business type and some more. Moreover, the second method is reliability test as a measurement between independent and dependent variable. Finally, Pearson coloration method is used in this study to determine how the independent and dependent variable are related as the SME's green entrepreneurship practice is considered as a dependent variable DV and the independent variable IV for rising production costs, rising work demand, poor time management, improving social and economic growth, declining profit and failing gross domestic product. My name is Evelyn Yurezevi, metric number A20A1326. 
Finding out the challenges faced by SMEs to run a green entrepreneurship is the main focus of this research. Throughout the research, we as researchers are able to list out a variety of variables to observe and identify the problem SMEs face in turning their business green. This research is made in order to make some changes in the business world by leading people to a new paradigm of business where everything is green. Practical implication gained from this research is that it contributes in the improvement of the economy of the country. This is because this research helped pave way for SMEs to overcome those challenges. In addition, SME plays an important role in the economy as they play a big part in Malaysia's economy status. Hence, it would be beneficial for economists and students to learn about green entrepreneurship from this research. This research also contributes knowledge on green entrepreneurship. It discovers the potential of SMEs to improve themselves creating customer loyalty, brand image, productive workers and safe product. Entrepreneurs would most likely enjoy the green business as it has many possibilities that lead to a successful business in this modern world. Thank you.